Hey guys, what's up? We're here with Bruno. Yeah, and today we're gonna be upgrading a PC. This right here is a four years old gaming PC that Rono used to play with. Look at that. Yeah. This GPU used to be T2080s, and then we swapped it out for 3090. Now we're gonna swap it out for the 4090. So, insane upgrades, guys. And yeah, what CPU is this? This CPU is four years old, it's i9-9900. Thirteen nine hundred KF Intel Core. Yes. So that's four generations improvement right there. Yes, it's gonna have some big upgrades, guys. Yeah. Also the memory right here. It was uh, DDR4. It came with thirty-two gigs. We added uh, another thirty-two for sixty-four. And today we have DDR5. Yep. With sixty-four hundred speed, so which is like supposed to be really fast. So this all is going to be, of course, placed on top of a new motherboard. This motherboard has to go, even though it's beautiful, it's shiny, because it was vacuumed. Um, this motherboard has to go, and it's going to be replaced with... Uh, Z790. Yeah, <clears throat> so this chipset just came out like a month ago, I think, or two months ago. And we're getting all the new stuff. The power supply is all good, it's a uh, thousand watts, this can stay. Uh, the cooler on the CPU is also pretty good, I think. The cooler has the three fans, which is plenty. And uh, what else? I have no idea. <laughs> That's it, eh? Yeah. So let's get to it. Okay, guys, now we gotta open the motherboard. Let's go. Here we have it. Wow! It looks just like the other one. Wow. Look at that. Okay, so that's the brand new motherboard. Wow, it's amazing. Yep. Okay, so on top of it, it's gonna we're gonna have to put in uh, the CPU and the mother and the memory. Yep. So let's do it. Yeah. Open up. Wow. Woo. That's the computer brain. DDR5. Only one way this can go in, right? That noise is always scary. Yeah. What if it like cracks? Okay, so the CPU is in. Now let's put the memory in. The RAM. Yeah, so we're gonna make sure we're gonna use double channel memory. So we'll put them in slot one and three. Okay, the first one's in. Okay, skipping over one slot so that we use double channel. Double channel. Yeah. For extra speed, extra throughput. All right. Okay, so the main components are in, right? Except for the graphics card. Yep. It's gonna come in later. But now I think we have to, we have to go back to the old PC. So the next step is to take out this motherboard from the old PC, but first we have to take out the graphics card. The 3090 is going out. Oh, wow. I know, it's ridiculous. I remember having two 2080s here, and I thought it was ridiculous to replace it with the 3090, which actually was faster than the two 2080s. And now we say bye-bye. <laughs> I'm going to say sort of bye bye to this one. Oh, look at that. Wow. Look at that. 3090 being removed. Okay, so the next thing is I think we need to disconnect um, the cooler and then take out the motherboard. All right. So let's go. Okay, so we disconnected the CPU uh, cooler and took out all the cables. Okay, every cable here is off the board. And now everything is unscrewed also, all the screws are out. We're gonna take out the old motherboard. So the old motherboard is out. Okay, so the new motherboard is coming in. 
Okay. Whoa, yeah. It's the same size, so it should be no problem. Okay, so we put some uh, thermal paste on the CPU and on the contact of the cooler. And now we're connecting the cooler to keep the CPU chill. Alright. Looks like it fits beautifully. Yeah. Alright, let's screw it in. Okay guys, now we have to move the drives. So we're gonna move the SSD first. So we have to take off this heat sink. Okay, there right. we go. That's the main drive, guys. Basically anything that's on the C drive, it's in here. And we don't wanna reinstall anything, so it's gonna go back into the new PC. Okay, and this is the heat sink for the new. Place. You slide it in at the same angle you pull it out at. Okay, make sure all the pins attach even. Here? Yeah. Okay, now we cover it. And now we take this plastic off the heatsink and just cover it. Okay, looks like it's in. Okay, so now we're gonna take the second drive. It's the D drive. This is the heatsink, taking it out. The beautiful drive is here. Wow. Ooh. Okay, what is it, one terabyte? Same as the other one. The other one's a one terabyte? Yeah, Samsung one terabyte SSD something. I think these are pretty fast. That looks crazy. Looks good? Yeah. All right, so the heat sink goes back on. We only have two drives, C and D. Big heat sink. Yeah, both one terabyte drives. We don't want to reinstall any software, just be able to run the other, the new computer from previous drives. All right, so now it's time to open the 4090 graphics card. So let's open it up, one box. What a love of game. Oh, it's like a play button. <laughs> Oh wow, it's a big case. It's like, it's like a thing. Why is there so much protection? It's the most precious component. <laughs> Here it is. Look at that brick. Wow. <gasps> what? It's the 49. Look how huge that is. Look how thick. Wow. Insane. All right, so this is the huge uh, 4090. It's super thick, it's, it's thickness of the three cards. So it's gonna go in right here. Okay. I think it's in, right? Yeah, okay, now let's click in, okay. Okay, so these are the power cables that were connected to the 3090. The, the new one has a different, has just the one socket. And there's an adapter that comes with it. Okay, so you connect four powers, PCIe power connectors into this one. This car takes a lot of power. Thank God we have the 1000 watt power supply. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Okay guys, so this is the old card, 3090. Woof. Replaced by the Mega Beast, the thicker 4090. Woof. And we don't really know what to do with this beast. It's still good. Um, uh -oh. It's, you know, 3090 RTX. Uh -oh. So, what do you think we should do with this? Maybe. Send it to me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what we should do. We're all going to be 3090. Okay, cool. It's going to go in the box of the new one, and you guys tell us what to do with it. Uh, maybe we'll send it to somebody. So guys, we are going to try and start it. Pray for us, hopefully it works. Okay, so connecting to the power. Okay, That's we're cool. gonna plug in the monitor, the old one we have right there. Yep. Which is gonna be replaced, but for now we just wanna see if this build at least starts and boots up. If it does, 
then we're gonna clear. Let's go. Okay, let's click the power oh. button. Okay, let's see if we can boot up anything on the monitor. What is that weird noise? No signal. It will connect. Nope. Nope. Nothing. Oh! It's off. It's shut off by itself. <laughs> oh, hold on, it's turning back on. Oh. Magic. <laughs> I honestly have no idea. It's changing colors here. What? The power is connected. I mean, it's, it's doing something. That is some insanity, bro. What do you think, Arnold? It is insanity. Is it gonna work? Probably, yeah. Okay, fingers crossed. Five minutes later. <gasps> What? <laughs> we have the BIOS! <laughs> oh yeah! Uh, I... Oh! It's shut off again! a bit of a spasm. It's rethinking its strategy for life. <laughs> so, it works? A bit? Okay, so I think it's gonna be fine. We're actually booting, I don't know if into BIOS or into Windows. It, the Windows home screen. Oh my gosh, it works. Ah, chipmunk. Oh, what is that? Okay, so the PC is working, it's booting up. We have Windows, wow, amazing. Okay, so we booted up and we can confirm that Task Manager says RTX 4090 and also the CPU i9 13900KF. So we have the brand new upgraded PC boot it up, but surprise. this is a big surprise here. Check it out. Monitor. Samsung. 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 Yeah. Odyssey Neo G8, because a brand new PC has to come with a brand new monitor. Right? Of course, of course. Of course. Do you have to build it? Uh, just a quick put together, just a stand, you know. No problem. Okay, check it out. NASA monitor. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Quite wow. in the back. Woof. Woof woof in the front. Woof. Okay. Okay guys, now we got the keyboard. It's the Apex Pro TKL. So we're gonna be switch switching to this keyboard. Okay, so we have the monitor with oh. a stand. It's huge. I know, it's heavy too. NASA monitor. It goes on that desk. Spaceship monitor. So what they have on the spaceships. Yeah, this is gonna be a, oh. a NASA space station. Look at this one. And look at that one. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, it's pretty big. Say hi, Aria. Aria, say hi to the fans. Say hi, Aria. Tell them to subscribe to your channel. Aria, say hi. No. So we got the big monitor connected. It's running at 4K resolution, 240 hertz. Very good. And the setup is basically complete. We have to like overclock the uh, CPU and the GPU and overclock the memory, but that's too boring for the video. That's gonna take too much time. So I think we are pretty much done. This is the ultimate build right now. Insane Fortnite build. I think the best we could possibly buy because the CPU just came out like a month ago. The, Chipset motherboard also, month old. Uh, GPU 4090 is insane, it just came out. Yeah. Uh, even the memory is DDR5, the fastest we could find. So, I think this pretty much completes it. That's the finished build, guys. Look at it. It's magnificent, it's just like the other one. And the big box sitting right here. Cable management is uh, not too good, but <laughs> look at the cables. Alright, no one's gonna be like, oh, <laughs> no one's gonna do that. Alright, so that's the end of the episode. So, bye bye.